Okay, so um, I've got this piece finished up with my blending from yesterday. And um, I told you guys I had put uh, my first coat of paint on here was was out in Higgins Lake, which is kind of a light really green gray. And the reason I did that is because the transfer that I was wanting to use has a little bit of blue flowers in it. And so I'm wanting to distress this back so that I can see the blue underneath it. So usually when we distress, we will use sandpaper um, and a sanding block. And we usually just kind of wrap this around there and use it. This is a 320 grit, which is very fine, um, which is good for like smoothing as opposed to trying to remove uh, your paint. But when I use this on it, it's kind of sanding it back to show the um, white primer and also the wood. And that's not really the look I'm going for with this. So I'll show you. Let me see if I can get it close. Right here, you can see the blue that's coming through and also right here. And um, what I did to get that look was to use a technique called wet distressing. Um, and this is just baby wipes from Walmart, Walmart brand, nothing special about them. They work great to remove paint which um, we figured out they also remove stain, which is basically impossible, impossible to remove otherwise. So it's kind of scary that we use them on our baby's bottoms. But anywho, um, it works great to remove paint. So I just have one of those that's damp, and I'm just kind of rubbing it over the paint, just around the edges where I want it to show kind of some wear and tear. And it's removing my top color and just showing some of that blue. So it'll um, help to pick it up um, in the transfer and um, I just started so I just did this little bit here around the edges unless you see it's worked wet and that'll dry obviously and go away so just you want to distress where it would naturally distress so usually on the corners and stuff like that and that's just because um, you want it to look natural so if you were to look at furniture that gold and worn and has places on it You'll see that it's naturally occurring around the edges, around the corners, where it's touched more, around the bottom, where it gets beat up more, say from sweeping or vacuuming. And we just want it to kind of mimic that. We don't want it to look unnatural. So that's where you kind of pick where to distress. That's probably all I'll do for that one. Um, and then again, too, you can just take this really high grit sandpaper I'll rub over it just a little bit to smooth it. I like for my furniture to feel good. I don't like to rub my hand across it and it feel gritty and rough. I like for it to be smooth. So, um, why we do that? And I guess not everybody cares. Not everybody does that, but I just want it to feel good. So the first thing I do when I see other people's work is run my hand across it to see what it feels like. Don't mind my bed back there. That's a piece we picked up last week. I'm probably going to make a bench out of maybe a swing or something. I say I, it'll be my husband. He's the one that does all the building. And this is taking a little while, as you see, because I'm rubbing through a couple of layers of paint here. And it does take a little elbow grease. And more than that, it's going to take a lot of time to do that. So I'm not going to record the whole thing, obviously. Because, like I said, it takes forever to get these videos to upload. Sorry about all the noise. That's my little boy playing Minecraft in the background. And again, just kind of going around the edges. And it seems like the more uh, paint, the more it picks up and the more worn out it gets, it's a little easier to remove. And this color turned out so pretty. I'm so happy with it. Funny story. So I bought the Rose Celebration Transfer 
months ago, um, and I was actually going to use it on an armoire and had in mind to do this finish, this color scheme, really, um, for it, just because it uh, matches so well with it. And a friend of mine took it um, to put on a piece that we had refinished for her. I think I told her this yesterday in another video. Um, but anyway, so I had my transfer out yesterday. I had it all taped up on this piece to look to see, you know, where I was going to put it, how I was going to place it. And was about to start cutting it, but it was late in the day and we were kind of finishing up. So I was like, well, I'll just wait and finish up tomorrow. And so um, shortly after that, yesterday evening, I got an alert on my phone that somebody had purchased the only two Rose Celebration transfers that I had available from my website which I'm grateful for, don't get me wrong. But now I don't have one to put on this piece. And so um, I just ordered one um, from another Wazel uh, retailer, Jan from Flip Furniture of Kentucky. She's going to send me one out so I don't have to wait because it is actually on back order. It's such a popular um, transfer for them. They sell out really quick. And I was going to have to wait until like, I think mid-July. So, I've got some more coming for us. Um, if you want them whenever they're here, don't wait too long to get them. I think that's it for that. I know it's hard to see with this light on. I've got the light on so it shines, so there's a little light, but if I, it's almost too bright. I'm going to try to turn it off and see if you can see any difference. Eh, a little bit. Um, but that's it. I'm not going to stay on here for that because it's, uh, again, going to take me a long time. But I'm just going to continue to do that using the wet wipes um, to go around the corners. And then I'll do some probably up here around the trim as well. Bye-bye.